to show you what we got, what we're working with here. This is food plot delta. A little small, small, just a little bow plot. Got a bunch of weeds in it and stuff. You can see I did spray them the other day, but they haven't had time to die. Um, but you can see, I mean, it's been tilled before, but right here, you can see just kind of where I grow. You can almost gauge how deep that little dirt bed is. So it's gonna be pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna go over it probably just once, maybe twice, get a good powder bed in it. But here's the LF tiller. Five feet long, running it with a 22 horse uh, Yanmar. And it's an MRT 3560A is what this uh, what this tiller is. Like I said, LS brand. Good tiller. I like it. Good solid construction. Cuts dirt good. So I'm going to stop yapping. I'm going to start cutting some dirt and show you all some video of it happening. definitely tell the difference in what's been tilled and what hasn't. Tilled hasn't. It's starting to look good. You don't see what kind of seed bed. Look at my footprints. This stuff this stuff nice. It's nice. I got a couple more passes left. We're gonna go ahead and hit it and then we're gonna spread out some iron clay peas. Let's get it done.
Come here, Boone. So on this little, probably maybe quarter acre plot, I put about 25 pounds of iron clay pea. So now I'm just gonna drive over it a bunch of times with the Ranger and let the tires pack it down. I'm building, I'm, I'm making some plans to build a DIY culta packer or a roller packer more, more than culta packer. But uh, yeah. Let's run over and get the seed packed in because we've got some rain coming in the next few days and uh, it's going to be nice. Well, packed in good. Packed in real good. Smooth that. You can see where I'm walking now. There's no footprints. Packed in real good. Took forever doing it this way. But uh, got the seed packed down. We're supposed to get rain, like I said, the next four or five days. It shouldn't be a whole lot of rain, so it shouldn't flood them out or wash the seed away. But uh, yeah, I'll give it, I don't know, a week or two, maybe 14 days, 18 days. See where they're at, see what they look like, and then I'll give you guys an update video. It's looking, looking really good. If you're on the fence about buying a tiller for your tractor, look, stop thinking about it. Stop trying to talk yourself out of it by the tiller. When you're hitting hard ground at first tilling it, it jumps around, it makes a lot of noise, and you're gonna be like, man, I shouldn't have bought this thing. But once you get it broke up like this, you saw how smooth it was running, just behind that little 22 horse tractor. It, uh, man, you can't, you can't get this with a disc. I don't care what anybody says. I saw in a lot of forums, guys were like, man, if you plow it and then you disc it and then you drag it, it's the same result. It's not, it's nowhere near the same result absolutely superior to any disc and we have this a lot of food plots i've just a lot of ground you can't can't compare these two there's no way but anyway thank y'all for watching like i said i'll do an update video on this specific food plot in about 14 days 18 days something like that and uh i'll show you where it's at but anyway thank y'all for watching back 40 tv